Hello my little ungoy and welcome to the Halo Foundry. If you've been collecting Jazzware, the World of Halo collection over the past few months, you can probably agree with me that it is quite impressive. We've been giving great things like figures with amazing detail and articulation, some impressive little weapons and some, wow, how do I put this? Some vehicles that are so bloody damn good, you'd want to stick your knob in them. Yes. I thought that the Warthog, Ghost and Mongoose were so good, I'd have intercourse with all three of them at once. So a thousand likes and I'll post a foursome video on my OnlyFans page. You know you want to see it. But with these sets, I've always thought that one thing was missing and that was accessories. With a huge growing community of people who create epic sets and photos with Halo figures, they've always been limited to just the weapons, figures and vehicles. But that is going to be an issue of the past, my friends. But our boy Brian on Instagram, check out his page, link in the description, has shared a photo of a leaked Jazzware World of Halo accessory set. Yes, you heard me right. I've only got a few images of these and I have asked his permission. But before you go and reach for your glasses, it's not you. These pictures really aren't the clearest, okay? They look like they've been taken with one of those potato phones. But regardless, here it is. Pause for effect. This thing is flipping amazing. Not sure if it was Brian who took it or whoever, but I feel like it was taken in secret. Like when you're outside and you see a particularly hideous person and you try to take a discreet picture of them just to prove to your mates that goblin people really exist. I mean, we all do it. We all take pictures of people and stare in public. It's nothing to be ashamed about, people. But I mean, if this box is in front of me, I'd be going ham with my camera. They wouldn't better stop me leaking these pictures. Mm. There is no release date for this yet. There is no price. So the only info that we can go off of this is the images. And it's not even of the whole box. Like a large chunk on the left side is missing on some of them. But with this set, there's going to be 28 pieces in total with two figures and 10 terrain bases. I'm not sure if the two figures and the 10 bases are included in the 28 piece total, but as said, it's really hard to see all of them in the pictures. But what an amazing set nonetheless. The figures included are a blue Gunganeer with a purple Elite Mercenary. Now what's cool is that we haven't actually seen the Gunganeer in a 4 inch scale yet. We did get one in Series 2 of the Spartan Collection, but damn, this little figure looks fine. The Elite looks like it's a purple recolour of the one that we'll be receiving in Series 3, which will be releasing, I mean, very soon, I guess. But more the merrier, I say. But to me, at least, these figures aren't really the main attraction here. It's all about those juicy accessories. Now, for you watching at home, feel free to count along with me. Now, as I said, we have 10 bases which aren't visible in the packaging, but hopefully they're all different and not just the same style. And then we also get the two figures. And at 13, we have an energy coil just off to the right. And at 14 and 15, it looks like we've got two small stone or sandbag walls at the bottom. Believe me, they are there. Or these actually could be the bases like piled on top of each other. I'm just guessing at this point. And sadly, you've clicked on this video and you're coming along for the ride, even if the information is false. Sucks to be you, I guess. But then we have the Spanker rocket launcher, a needler and a sniper rifle. Very tasty stuff right there. And then just off to the left, we have a small crate. Not sure if it's empty or if it has a lid that's going to be counted towards the total or not. But uh, that's the fun of it, I guess. Now, if I just flip over to this other picture, which is also very blurry as well. But it looks like we have a mounted machine gun turret. But this part here looks like it's going to be the legs of the turret and the gun is right here. So I'm assuming they're going to be counted as two separate pieces. But then down here, we have a commando rifle, hydro launcher, assault rifle and a battle rifle. Mm. And the most exciting part for me, the weapon rack that they're all attached to. Flipping awesome. That is everything that I can really make out in these pictures. I don't think there's anything hidden around the back. But that is two figures, ten bases, eight weapons and some other junk as well. Give or take a few. As they might actually be bases at the bottom and not sandbags, I really can't make out any more than that. And it does look like the box will stop right here on the left. So the weapon rack looks like it only holds the four weapons. But even with that said, what you can see here is just amazing. As you can tell, I'm really, really excited for this. This set is so good that I will take it out on a date, give it a good time, 
make it dress up nice and fancy, make it feel special, invite it back to my place. And unlike all the other sets out there, with this one, I'm actually going to give it a call back the next day. We had such a good time. The food was great. The atmosphere was amazing. The sex, phenomenal. See, I am more excited with this one than the other weeks last week. Check out my video here. And those leaks had a flipping mantis. But if this leak is already out, I'm guessing it's not going to be long before it's officially announced by Jazzware. But I really can't wait. It's got me all excited. Mm. But what's more exciting here is that this is clearly a UNSC accessory pack. So we can assume there's going to be a banished equivalent. With a little banished turret, weapons rack, more weapons. Now that is sick. And hopefully they'll do even more with different stuff. Like more turrets, weapons, different variations of shields and, and grenades and everything. But if I were to critique only one thing, that's the figures. Now they're great figures and all, but I prefer if they just went the full hog and didn't include the figures at all and say included 10 extra weapons and bits and pieces. But with the figures included, I think the Gunganir is fine because it's a UNSC pack after all. But the Elite and Needler do seem a bit weird in this pack. But I'm guessing if they do a Banish pack, it's also going to have a Marine or Spartan included with another gun. But what's the point really? Keep it on team is all I'm saying. We're not buying packs like this year to even out the UNSC and the Banished in our sort of armies. We want it for the accessories for the team. But that's it. Some blurry ass pictures and a little dose of speculation. But let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for this pack? And do you hope that they do more in different styles? And do you like mayonnaise or do you think it is overused and wish that companies would stop putting it on things and just use butter instead? I know that I do. But whatever your opinion, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly Halo Gear videos. See you next time, losers. That was a bit mean. Love you all.